What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, DN Dual Commentary. We have Saint89 at the top, 1539 rating. And we have Rich DeWint, 15, so, oh, excuse me, 1653 rating. He's playing Mythic Rulers. I have no idea what Saint89 is playing for right now. And uh, he opens, Rich opens with Dragon Shrine. He's going to be able to dump a dragon into the graveyard. He dumps Flameville Guard, and I hope he dumps White Stone and then gets a Blue Eyes and trades it in for a couple new cards. But, you know, sometimes people don't do that. They dump Blaster into the graveyard, the strongest Dragon Ruler. And he removes Tempest, and I'm thinking maybe that might be a misclick, or either that or he's playing Sarcophagus. Okay, which he does. He activates Sarcophagus. And uh, that gives him a uh, Debris Dragon from his Tempest. Now, he summons Karee Bandit. I love this card. Remember when people thought that this card was going to be overrated? You know what I mean? Like, people were oh my goodness. <laughs> he hits a White Stone. He hits a Trade-In, a Card of Consonants. He hits another Card of Consonants. And a Soul Judge! Oh, Lord. I mean, you got to think, he's going to get a free Blue Eyes. If he gets the Blue Eyes, he can immediately trade it in for two cards. Even Soul Charge would have been good because, I mean, he has, uh, like, three dragons in his graveyard. I'm, I guess he didn't take Soul Charge because he knows that his field is open, so he knows he's going to take a couple of direct shots, and he might not want to, um, you know, rely on his life points, which is ironic because he ends up getting an upstart, double upstart, <laughs> so he's at 10,000 life points, and it's like, yo, that Soul Charge would have been so derp, right? Against set one, oh my god, Soul Charge against set one, that would have been crazy, man. I mean, I I like the I like the trade in pick. Don't get me wrong, but almost all the time I go for Soul Charge because whether it's Bujins or Mermil or uh, Mythic Rulers, it's just too good of a card. You know what I mean, guys? All right, so if he would have Soul Charged right now, it's oh my god, especially having. Especially having another Dragon Shrine? Are you crazy? Why didn't you get Soul Charge, boy? You could have dropped two uh, fucking level 8s right now. Alright, so he, he puts Flame Bell Guard in his graveyard with Redox. He trades in his Blue Eyes for two more cards. He's sitting really pretty. He blind MSTs. Is that a Vespere? It's not. It's Phoenix with Wind Blast. Alright, so I think we have a mirror match here. Which is cool because we're going to see some really, really powerful um, Synchros and Xyz. And... I'm, I'm not sure how you go about winning the mirror match. You know what I mean? All right, so Rich summons Card Trooper. He mills three, MST, Max C, and Phoenix from Windblast. I think this is game one, by the way. I'm not 100% sure. We'll find out shortly. And um, he banishes Stone and Blue Eyes for, uh, for Blaster. And his opponent, Saint, Max sees him. So he gets a draw from that. He's content on hitting him for 28 and 19. And then he just sets a card in his back row. Uh, that Sarko should actually be at 1. Because um, this was his first turn for Sarko. So next turn he should be actually getting his Tempest. Maybe he missed. Maybe he forgot to remove a counter. Okay, he just did now. Alright, alright. So Saint, um, he definitely has... He has, some, uh, he has some work ahead of him. All he has in his graveyard, I think, is a Maxi... Uh, he doesn't really have anything on field. He has one face down monster, and it looks like Rich is just going for game here. He spins the the top card, the, the monster that he just said. He spins that to the top of Saint's deck, and you see that Saint just scoops it up. He knows that if he summons Blaster plus, uh, what was that? He also mailed a, a Redox too, that he has game. And he had a Tempest that was coming back from Gold Sarko, so uh, that's a wrap. And I think, I'm thinking, all right, if it's a Mythic Ruler Mirror Match... Mythic Rulers should, I mean, they, they should side Blackhorn, right? I mean, pretty much every deck in, in the format sides Blackhorn. Uh, you would think that maybe a couple of Blackhorns come in so that you can keep Synchros off board. Um, it, it handles every Synchro except um, except Star Eater. You would think that maybe uh, Debunk comes in because uh, I've had Debunk sided in me when I'm playing Blue, uh, Blue Jeans against this deck. So, anyways, that was quick sighting. I mean, I didn't even have to... You know, talk about like One Piece or anything. All right, so Saint is opening first. He opens with Curry Bandit. Now, I'm not crazy that he didn't get anything else in his graveyard. No trade-ins or anything like that. He gets Electric Virus. Uh, he hits a Tempest. That's good. He hits a Debris Dragon. More dragons. Uh, he hits a Flameville Guard. So his, his graveyard is super loaded up. Oh, wait a minute. And he hits Soul Charge. I just thought about that. I was like, wait a minute. What happens with Curry Bandit if you don't hit any spells or traps? I was like... 
do you just not get its effect? It just fizzles, right? Okay, so he ends up hitting Soul Charge, which is the card that even if you would have dumped something else in there, good, I would have taken Soul Charge anyway. And <laughs> you see that Rich summons a uh, Kareem Bandit back, and this is a Kareem Bandit War. That's probably going to be the title of this video. <laughs> Kareem Bandit is just amazing. All right, so um, he hits Influence Dragon, White Stone, so there's a plus one, trade in. So he can trade in his blue eyes, unless he mills the blue eyes, like that, which might have just happened. He takes the trade in. Hopefully, he still has another blue eyes in his deck. And he doesn't. He only has one blue eyes. That's unfortunate. He's gonna have to trade in one of his um. He's gonna have to trade in one of his water dragons, right? I mean, isn't that like the only other level eight that the deck runs? That's kind of unfortunate. I mean, it was nice that he still got you know the uh. The dragons that he needed in there in his graveyard. You got Debris and Tempest. Although, I'm thinking, what other, I mean, uh, I guess he might still have Influence Dragon in there. I mean, another Influence Dragon maybe in his deck, you know, because you don't want to mail all your, your Tempest searches, because then when you remove Tempest, it's like, what can I do here? All right, so Saint plays Soul Charge, and I mean, usually, like, what I do is I go for the Gusto. I just, I, I blindly just do everything in my fucking graveyard, just if nothing else to scare my opponent. So he's going three. Um, he's not going to get the electric virus. Granted, sometimes I don't get electric virus. <clears throat> he chains max C. Uh, Rich does. And yeah, I, I would say that's not that's not sharking and um, being able to, what's it called, change those guys to defense because max C does resolve first before the soul charge. So, you know, that, that isn't any cheating or anything like that, that he turned his guys to defense. And then he's just going to, he's just going to go um, past turn knowing that, uh, you know, it, it is kind of difficult to get over these guys. Oh, that's okay. So that's why Rich didn't search a blue eyes. He had the blue eyes already in his hand. So that was the problem. Now he did trade in that blue eyes for two new cards. But, um, I would say, um, I would say small advantage Rich because yeah, Crimson Blader can be a bitch right now. He summons his Tempest and <laughs> he plays Max C. <laughs> And this is like, oh my god, this is just a war of max C's. This is crazy. So he's gonna go, um, he's gonna summon Flame Vogard. And yeah, you're thanking Crimson Blader right here. Because if you go Crimson Blader, you run over your opponent's Tempest. Granted, they get the draw card, that's fine, whatever. I mean, unless they draw Dark Hole, I mean, well, I guess he could draw Phoenix with one blast. So he ends up attacking the Debris Dragon. Which, I thought that you'd try and leave as many monsters on board. Like, I would have maybe attacked Tempest, but... I mean, I, I, I guess it doesn't make that big of a difference. Tempest is going to his hand, but... You know, would you want your opponent activating Tempest's effect? I'm not sure. Especially when he has, was it, one, two, three, four, five... Just, like, an infinite amount of cards. So, he ends up... Uh, he ends up trading the Tempest in for seven, uh, seven swords. Which, isn't that... Isn't that, um... It's limited in the TCG, is it not? I think Seven Swords is, is limited to one in TCG, right? And then he activates um, Dragon Shrine. Now, he can't summon any level 5 or higher monsters, right? Yep, your opponent cannot normal summon or special summon level 5 or higher monsters during their next turn. And the problem is, he has this Flame Vogard on board. So, it's like he's going to be potentially locked down for another turn. Now, as I said, though... You did give you did give Saint more cards. So if he ended up drawing Phoenix with one blast, Rich, you're probably fucked. But you know, if if he didn't, then whatever. So he blind MSTs the face down, and it happens to be a soul charge, which for the most part is kind of useless right now. And then he goes to attack the Flame Guard. Now this is gonna put him under another turn of um of uh Crimson Blader lockdown. Now his face down obviously was not Phoenix with one blast, so he would have stopped that. <clears throat> and you think I mean, I guess it could be torrential. Um, it could be torrential tributes. Um, it could be a bluff burial from the different dimension. I mean, he had so many cards in hand. You think that? I mean, he just he would set spells or traps. Like he'd set spells if for nothing else, so that he doesn't have to um, discard them. So he's setting another card. And I mean, if if I'm if I'm rich, I, I'm not believing that that those face downs are anything special because. You've already shown me that you're willing to bluff, so I wouldn't. I would just assume that you're willing to bluff again. Now he dumped. Uh, um, he dumped Blaster into his graveyard, which I'm thinking he's going for game right now. Granted, that could be a torrential, I guess. He max sees him, but the problem is you keep max seeing him, Saint, but you're not getting anywhere. 
You don't have any board presence, and all he has to do is just attack. Now, you did save yourself with the Scarecrow, so you might actually have some life in you. You, you keep getting those one-for-ones with Max C, sometimes pluses, but you really need to be able to counter here. Now, you're not under Crimson Blade or Lockdown anymore, so this is the turn that you definitely have to make your push. And this, um, this counter should be off Crimson Blader. Now, he does have MST, which he gets rid of uh, Vanity's Emptiness. And now if you're saying, yeah, you, you've got to make your push here. Rich only has three cards in his hand. The Crimson Blader lockdown is done. You have Tempest in your graveyard. Go for it. I mean, just go for everything. You know, Big Eye, Crimson Blader, ram it into fucking Blaster if you have to. Do what you need to do. He summons Title. And he gets Max C too. This is just a fucking Max C show, guys, isn't it? And you think he has to he has to continue special summoning because if he doesn't, he just leaves the title on board and he'll get locked under Crimson Blader again. And he can't he can't afford that. So he has to at least special summon twice again because right now title can't get over anything. Well actually, yeah, he has to special summon at least one more time. Now he could go into a number uh what's it called? He could go into a colossal fighter. Colossal Fighter would ram, I guess, one of these monsters. But then again, if he rams and he special summons, he keeps drawing for Max C. So it's like, does that really help him? Now, he did use a uh, White Stone, so he's going to get himself a free copy of Blue Eyes as well. But uh, as far as um, as far as far advantage here, I still, I still say that Rich is... No, actually, definitively, Rich is at advantage. Because Rich has 228s on board, and he has the pleasure of having the Max C. You know, again, if 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 Colossal Fighter attacks either one of these guys, yes, it will die and he will get Colossal back. But every time he does that, he will essentially, what's it called? He will essentially give his opponent more cards. So he decides to make Colossal and just simply pass. And I guess uh, Rich is just like, okay. Now, the thing about that is you give him the, the Blaster back in hand, but if he has Flameville Guard, he could just pop your Colossal Fighter and then he could end up winning by reborning his, uh, by resummoning his title. So... That's a little bit risky right there. You know, you just have to assume that he doesn't have any um any flamebow guards. You know what I mean? If he has a flamebow guard, you're gonna get extra fucked because he will pop that colossal fighter. And then he'll just attack for game with title and um and what's it called? And Crimson Blader. So now they're talking shit. <laughs> a little bit of, of trash talking here. So if I'm rich, I'm just gonna focus on the duel. I'm gonna let my opponent talk trash. If I really have game, I'm obviously gonna go for it. He says, I've been going for the I've been going to the gym for about four years already, brah. So okay. I let's just let's just do and not talk shit. You know what I mean? We're not Patrick Hoban here. Nobody's gonna get slapped. Alright, so he dumps um Flame Vogard and Redox into the graveyard from Dragon Shrine. And now I'm thinking maybe he's changing his play to uh Crimson Blader. I mean, not Crimson Blader, into, into Big Eye. I mean, he could still go Draco Sack and just pop it. <clears throat> and once again, every single turn, it is mandatory that Max C be played. So you see that Saint is playing Max C. And uh, he will get a draw one. I would still say, considering that Rich can win this turn, I would, okay, he just decides to pass for some reason. I, I guess he didn't feel confident in, in his play, considering that he played um, Scarecrow. Alright, so you see that Saint summons Water Dragon and um, he summons Water Dragon and Tree Dragon. Now the problem is he can go for, you know, Felgran, but obviously Felgran can't get over Crimson Blader. I mean, I, Felgran can't get over Redox either, for that matter. You know what I mean? I guess he could go Crimson Blader. I mean, he could go Ram into Crimson Blader and then get Colossal back because uh, Crimson Blader doesn't kick it into your opponent's next turn. So, you know. And plus, I'm not sure if it has to be face up to resolve like you guys answer that if you would all right so saint is going to go into an xc i mean he could go into a heretic dragon of a tomb i'm not sure about that because you leave your opponent with a bunch of cards and that card isn't it's i mean it can it's not the hard it's not the, the hardest thing to kill so you see that um he does saint does go into heretic dragon of a tomb and he blows up both monsters and he's going to attack for 5800 Unless he is going for an OTK, I mean, if he if he summons Blaster back, that is an OTK. Unless um, unless Rich has a Scarecrow, something like that. So we're gonna see. He is removing two dragons, and he does that Blaster. So my bad. <laughs> this does look like it is an OTK. That's um, fifty six plus three thousand is eighty six. So if Rich doesn't have Scarecrow, um, he is going to get OTK'd. 
Now, Saint moves to battle phase. He attacks with uh, Blaster. He takes 28. He attacks with Colossal Fighter. He takes 28. And he's going to attack. Oh, no. Gores. Wow, people still play that thing? I thought you were extinct, Gores. And, um, yeah, Gores drops on board and gets him a nice Gores token, which has 2,800 attacks. So, if nothing else, that token can crash with a, uh, a blaster. Now, oh, snap! Oh, snap! Electric Virus just snatched stole Heretic Sun Dragon. And if I am him, I'm dumping all three of those guys in the graveyard. Okay, that just completely changed the game. Saved by Gores. Wow. So you see he activates the effect of Heretic Sun uh, Dragon. And he's asking if he has a response. And he scoops it up knowing that he could discard three cards. And then he'd just be able to summon back his blaster and push for game. So that was a very entertaining game with an uh, uh, end that I did not see coming. Thank you guys for watching. As always, look out for more duels to come.